Back live with you. Let's go to the Western Cape now where the government in that province has made over 700 million rands available to help and load shedding. Finance MEC uh, Marily Venga uh, is uh, in, in, rather in her budget revealed today that the funds will be spent on backup solar power for schools and hospitals. Yazid Kalmadin has more from Cape Town. The Western Cape Provincial MEC for Finance has just delivered a budget speech for the province. She'll be joining us now to talk about the highlights and also some of the challenges. So this year our theme is to keep building a Western Cape that works for all. Uh, so given the uh, cuts that all provinces have experienced, we're prioritizing the poor and the vulnerable. Uh, in excess of 75% of our budget is being spent on supporting poor communities. So at the same time, we're uh, protecting poor communities, but we're also prioritizing economic growth and development. It's so interesting that you mentioned a pro-poor budget because the Democratic Alliance, which of course, you know, has the majority in the province and also the city, often opposition say that you are not pro-poor. Oh, well, that's absolute nonsense. If you look at the actual rands and cents that this government spends in excess of 75% of our 255 billion rand budget over the MTF is spent on helping poor communities to thrive and succeed. Can you please give us some detail on, of, of the coming year, like where the money will be uh, spent or allocated to? In primarily our budget is allocated to the education department, to the Department of Health and Wellness and to social development. And in there we really have tried very hard to make sure that our children have a bright and prosperous future. At the same time, the sick and our elderly are cared for. Um, we're also looking at how we make sure that, for example, the school nutrition program, we all know that the cost of food is rising, so we've provided additional allocations to make sure that the school feeding program, which feeds over half a million children every day, can keep up with inflation and that the nutritional value of food is maintained. When we talk about the budget in detail, but are there any uh, particular RAND highlights that you want to also share? Well, let me start with one of the binding constraints on the economy is, of course, load shedding. Uh, and what we're trying to do is become as independent of ESCOM as quickly as possible. And there we're allocating over 700 million RAND over the MTF to help build energy resilience within the province, which includes multiple things. Uh, but it also includes making sure that our schools and our clinics can have solar PV and continue to work even if we have high levels of load shedding. Mm -hmm. Now in wrapping up, uh, shortly after the uh, National Finance Minister made his budget speech, we heard from the province here in the Western Cape, uh, from the provincial leader in fact, saying that you know these budget cuts from National Treasury will have a negative knock-on impact. Talk to us about that. Like all other provinces, uh, over the MTF our budget is being cut by 6.7 billion rand. Um, which we've had to navigate, uh, try and buffer, and then reprioritize to make sure that we can protect basic service delivery uh, within the system, at the same time being innovative to make sure that we can stretch that round uh, even more. Um, it is concerning to see that most of the conditional grants being cut are in the human settlement space as well as in the health space. So as far as possible, we're having to add in from within our own um, budgets and to reprioritize to make sure that some of those key services can continue to be delivered and delivered well.